Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation, with two ways to smuggle gold. Let's explore! Now, you know, gold is not free from taxation, imports, and duties, and the like. And there's a lot of people that are trying to get away from these uh, penalties. Mostly, we see that in India. You've heard me cover some stories like this from time to time. And these two ways to smuggle gold are actually not completely unique, although one is very rare. I've only heard about it one other time, and I covered a story on that topic uh, when it had occurred then. This time, we're going to take a look at it and where it was done in two different ways. Pretty ingenious, but nonetheless, I think the authorities are pretty much on. The, you know, they do not pass the smell test, if you know what I mean. Many of you will be able to come up with a whole lot of, of um, analogies or puns from this, for sure. But, uh, you know, this is something that was shared with me by, with me by Doctor Who. And coming to, to us from Unilad, man busted with $40,000 worth of gold hidden under his wig and up his bum. That's right. It's a top-down approach to smuggling gold out of the country. And this is an example of it here. Quite fascinating indeed. Look at this. All right. A man was arrested by customs officials at New Delhi's Indiri Gandhi International Airport after he was caught trying to smuggle gold worth almost $40,000. Uh, into the country. Yes, indeed. So he's trying to get back into the country to avoid, avoid those excise taxes and the like. Like the Times of India first reported uh, that the unidentified man had concealed the melted down gold in a pouch hidden, hidden under a toupee he was wearing. So pretty ingenious, as you can see here. We'll actually watch the video to show you uh, how well it was hidden there. But but look, one key thing about this is it was melted down gold, which means that after it's melted down, you cannot track it anywhere. You can't trace it anywhere. There's no marking this to where it came from. As long as it's three nines pure gold or higher, typically they cannot track it down. And so this is the case here. And that is, it was under this toupee to get it to fit snugly into the pouch. Very interesting indeed. So not only that, but... Customs officials told the publication that he had also two capsule-shaped pouches of gold lodged inside of his rectum. Yes, indeed, capsule-shaped, comfortably tucked away there. Yes, indeed, inside of his rectum. Yeah, wow, I tell you what. Uh, it could just go to show you that what measures they will go in order to hide and smuggle gold out. Very good. And, and a video shared by Delhi Customs captured the dramatic moment they removed the man's toupee and revealed the pouch of gold glued to the top of his head. And there we can see the details. We can see there was approximately 630.45 grams of gold uh, that was concealed inside his wig and rectum. And the accused has been arrested. And there's a further probe on the way. And more likely, other areas and other of these things have been caught. Here is the video itself showing the removal. Pretty amazing indeed. And they pull the, the piece at, out, and that's where the gold is tucked inside that pouch somehow. Pretty amazing. Now, there has been ways people could actually conceal gold in kind of a liquid form or in, in um, like a putty, so to speak. And I wonder if that was the case here because it seemed to be fairly pliable. Very interesting indeed. According to a UAE, that's United Arab Emirates newspaper, the national, the man who is an Indian passport holder, was traveling from Abu Dhabi when he was apprehended by authorities after disembarking his flight in New Delhi. So there he was trying to smuggle gold into the country. The paper also reported that further investigations are underway. While carrying gold on flights is not illegal, Passengers must declare the quantity they are importing or exporting 
and pay the necessary taxes. So he's trying to avoid taxes on the gold that was being brought into the country. And this is nothing new. You've heard me cover these stories like that before. So this is indeed a precious metal crime. And this video will be added to that playlist. What an amazing thing. People will go way out of their way to try to avoid those taxes. It's not the first time a wig has been used to smuggle gold into India. Last March, two men were caught smuggling gold and cash worth almost $383,000 into southern India's Chennai International Airport under their wigs. And that was the story that I had covered then. Um, so they've got to be on their toes. And it makes you wonder how many Indians and others were able to get away with smuggling gold in their rectums and in wigs in the past. More likely, probably more than we think. Um, Magrub Azbarali and Zubair Hassan Rafiathin were arrested at the airport's exit after their unusual hairstyles raised suspicions following their return from Dubai. That's pretty interesting. We go back to this. Let's watch this again. It's kind of hard to see here, but uh, it looks like this is a pretty good match to his hair. I mean, you can see there, it looks like a very close match. So this might be harder to detect. It could have been that maybe a metal detector could have found that. But I don't know. Pretty interesting indeed. Uh, <laughs> pretty wild. Uh, now, officials then discovered the men were wearing wigs after noticing their unusual hairstyles, which were hiding two packets of gold paste. There it is. That's right, gold paste, which is probably what this is, too. And that gold paste weighed 698 grams. In footage shared at the time, officials were seen peeling back the men's fake hair to reveal a black parcel stuffed with cash and gold paste, which had been glued to their heads. Uh, what an amazing, what a fascinating thing here to see. Uh, crazy. They also recovered gold uh, from their socks and erect them. The cash, gold, and other illicit items uh, were seen laid out on the counter, showing just how much the duo had attempted to sneak through the airport. Air Customs officials seized gold and foreign currency worth a total of $382,943. And uh, according to a 2019 article from Indian newspaper, The Tribune, carrying gold in paste form is a method that has been adopted by smugglers hoping to dodge metal detectors and x-ray machines at airports. An unarmed official from the Directorate of Revenue Intelligence, DRI, also stands for Dirty Rotten Imbecile, just so you know, it's a band, punk band. Smugglers first convert yellow metal into powder and then produce its compounds in paste form. So they basically mix it up into this paste form. Around 700 grams of gold can be retrieved from every 1,000 grams of paste by undertaking a chemical procedure. If involvement of some prominent jewelers and gold dealers across big cities cannot be ruled out, we are trying to identify potential end users as to break the nexus between smugglers and jewelers. So very good, very interesting indeed. I'm glad they caught them. What a, what a story this is. And um, uh, there are other cases, as you know, very clever ways to kind of get gold. But this story gives us a couple of different things to think about here. And number one, gold is valuable. And uh, everybody knows it. The criminals know it. Uh, the central bankers know it. Maybe they're one and the same. Some people feel like these central banks are criminal organizations as well. Legal, nonetheless. But, none, but gold is valued by all stages, all societies in different forms. And uh, I don't think there should be a tax on gold myself. And uh, certain states here in the United States are ridding the taxation on gold and silver, which is a good thing. Um, but nonetheless, foreign countries do tax it hard. There are VATs, value-added taxes in these other states. And so with that being said, something that is so valuable as gold, people are going to find clever and unique ways to be able to uh, get past the, the tax man. And this is a case where it has been done prominently here. And uh, we'll probably know of many others that have tried clever ways to store gold uh, in the pass through detection to avoid detection of, of the metal. So there you go. If you enjoyed stories like this, I hope you uh, consider watching the playlist where I have a, where I count different stories of precious metals crimes. 
It's a unique thing to this channel. Thanks again to Dr. Who for sending this story along to me. I would like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch and encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>